as if parents didn't have enough contagious viruses to worry about. Whooping cough, which hit a 60-year high last year, is continuing in 2013. Pertussis is a highly contagious respiratory illness. It's transmitted through aerosolized respiratory droplets. So you're contagious that whole period that you're coughing. Sometimes called a 100-day cough, pertussis, or whooping cough, is most dangerous to babies. The illness has the highest mortality in infants under three months, and it's because they have the most complications. So they, they don't just get the coughing spells, but they stop breathing. Um, they can have respiratory failure, seizures, and death. Now, here's where the flu and the whooping cough intersect. They both have vaccinations which can reduce your risk of getting sick. And in both cases, the epidemic might be shorter lived if people took the shot and avoided spreading the illness. And when we look at the pie of infant pertussis and how an infant gets pertussis, 50% of cases are from mom and dad, another 25% are from grandma and grandpa. So if these four, five, six people get vaccinated, you've decreased the risk for the infant by, by 75%. Pertussis protection wears off over the year, so by adulthood, it should be repeated. Another cause for the comeback, some parents are skipping their child's immunizations over fears about vaccines. Not mom, Marina Bloats. Well, because I think um, it protects them against um, worse illnesses what they could get. Um, the chance that they're getting anything out of it is very small. If more people took proper precautions, whooping cough could once again fade into the background. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.